Yeah, we're coming off of uh, a very exciting new front season. And uh, even though we're all remote in many ways, it gives us an even more robust chance to reach out to everybody with uh, a compelling presentation. And really at the heart of it from a, of a content, from a content uh, perspective is really just the sense that these days, so much of viewership is about micro-targeting, especially for the past 12 months, there hasn't been a whole lot of water cooler talk, right? Where we all are watching the same show and the next morning we get together at the water cooler and, and talk about it. Now viewership is, is so much more fractionalized. And in many cases, certainly in my household, we'll have four people all streaming content, but we're all watching something completely different. And oftentimes we have to go to social media to have those water cooler type conversations. Uh, so it, it to be what we've really been doing from a content perspective is building this massive content library uh, over 30,000 titles at this point, and really personalizing experiences uh, through discovery tools, through content personalization, so that ultimately we're just getting the right piece of content to the right viewer at the right time, and, and really just fueling their passions for what they want to watch. So if, if you want to look back over the, the past year at, uh, in 2020, we had 2.5 billion hours served of video content. So it's a, a tremendous uh, amount of growth and our growth has continued uh, into this new year. And the other thing that we really uh, spoke to in the new front is we're adding more fuel to our content offering uh, with original programming. Happy to get into more details, but uh, ultimately, uh, we're going to be having at least 140 hours of original content for our viewers this year. Well, from a from a content perspective, I, I, I truly believe that these days what you stream is who you are, right? And if you show me your cue, that's going to tell me a whole lot about who you are, what genres you want to watch, etc. And you know, it's it's really your cue is going to show me what is fueling your passions, right? What inspires you? What's your idea of nostalgia television, right? What's, what's your idea of lean back comfort TV? And so our, our original strategy is really going to mirror that by creating content that has our viewers and our advertisers top of mind. So first and foremost, uh, we're using content intelligence, which is essentially we have so much data now about our viewers' behavior, about their interests, about their needs, and we're using that to fuel decisions about what content that we want to make. And now that we're a part of Fox, I have tremendous partners uh, across Fox, Fox Entertainment, Fox Sports, Bento Box, Fox Alternative Entertainment, uh, and uh, we're, we're all working together uh, to put together a really exciting content offering for this new upfront cycle. And it's going to be a, a mix of content. It's going to be a mix of really premium, independent minded content that speaks to or serves a lot of the niche audiences uh, where, you know, our data has shown there's a lot of opportunity. This could be anywhere from thrillers to Westerns to horror movies romantic comedies, Westerns, you know, pretty much everything in between, plus also super serving some of our key audiences, which is content for kids in our dedicated to be kids section, uh, original content in Espanol for our to be in Espanol section, and then also uh, black cinema being one of our most popular categories on Tubi. So certainly we'll be having you know, lots of content where there's representation in front of, and in many cases uh, behind the camera uh, and content that's targeted for uh, Asian viewers and LGBTQ plus audiences as well. Uh, in addition, we uh, last year launched a news offering, News on Tubi, uh, and we're fueling that as well with the, uh, the goal of ultimately we're going to be in 58 DMAs this year, 
Uh, and it's a mix of national channels from, uh, you know, there's the uh, News Now from Fox, which is a national feed, NBC, Bloomberg, many other national feeds, plus a real focus on local and personalizing at the local level. Uh, and, and much of that is really fu fueled by the Fox local stations. Uh, and in addition, uh, we're going to be also launching Sports on Tubi this year. Uh, we've announced that uh, Tubi is a part of the recent NFL deal with Fox. So we look forward to sharing uh, lots more information on that. And then finally, I'll just wrap with some of the other original content that we have in the pipeline. Some really exciting documentaries that we're creating where uh, just, again, looking through content intelligence, we're seeing that there's certain areas that our viewers are exceptionally interested in. That could be true crime. It could be the Royals. Uh, it could be, uh, you know, the sinking of the Titanic, paranormal type storylines. And uh, so I, I definitely know that our viewers are very eager to get more content in a, in a fun documentary format. And then finally, I'll mention, uh, if you're not familiar with Bento Box, I'm sure you've probably seen their content. They're one of the premier animation studios uh, in Hollywood. Uh, and now owned by Fox, they produce such hits as Bob's Burgers. So uh, together uh, with Bento Box, we're going to be producing some animated movies uh, that uh, similarly fueled by content intelligence should hit some really interesting areas and, and genres uh, that should appeal to our audience.